Yo guys, what's going on? So welcome to a little bit of a sit down video. I normally never do these So when I do actually just sit down and talk with you guys I'd like to think like it's worth your time because you know what I'm saying is actually pretty important I don't know exactly where I want to start I guess we'll start with if you guys have ever wanted to meet like me personally or even any of the other guys in Too Hype, and also want to see us play basketball against other YouTubers, then you probably want to listen to this part right here. And yes, I am reading off my phone because if I did this off the top of my head, I'd probably just, you know, miss some important details. On Saturday, August 18th, in San Francisco, me and the rest of the Too Hype crew will be taking on, I should probably put some of my own words on this. So pretty much what's going on is Too Hype has partnered with Ball is Life. If you guys don't know Ball is Life, they, you know, they're just like, I don't really know how to explain them. They have a YouTube channel, you know, they have like Ball is Life, All American Games. They put together like amazing events. Like I've gone to them. Usually they have like top talented players there. And yeah, that's what's gonna be going on. So like I said, August 18th in San Francisco, me and the Too Hype guys, we're actually going to be playing a game. Now we're gonna be playing against other YouTubers, like there's gonna be Ryan Swayze, Mike Korzemba, Jay Jones, Walker's gonna be on the other team. If he's got a wide open layup, I may have to go over, you know, give him a flagrant foul, but should be a lot of fun. Like if you combine everyone's subscribers that's like playing in the game, they said it was like 37 million, which is just crazy. But like I said, we are partnering with Ball is Life and they're actually doing like their own event beforehand. And uh, what it says is, the top high school players from Southern California are going to be taking on the best Northern California players. And apparently there's gonna be like a ton of good players. Like they were talking about some of these kids, like when the NBA changes the rule where you don't have to go to college anymore. Like some of these guys are gonna go straight from high school to the NBA. So they're gonna be playing in a game right before us. So this event, it is gonna be amazing, which is why you guys need to listen to what I'm about to say right here. I wanna say the gym we're playing at only holds like 4,000 people, and plus, you know, people are gonna be going there just to see, you know, the Balls Life event. So you guys need to go in the description, like right now, and when I say right now, like just pause this video and go get yourself some tickets. If you guys do end up getting tickets and you do wanna meet me personally, like I will try my hardest, like I will stay, I'll get there hours before the event, I'll stay hours after the event so I can, you know, meet every single one of you guys. The event should be amazing. I'm a little bit worried cause I'm kind of out of shape. Like I'm, I'm a little bit in shape, but definitely not where I should be. Your boy's getting old, I will say. Hopefully I will see you guys there. Like I said, link to the website is down below in the description. Make sure you guys get your tickets because you know, I, I don't want it to sell out and then you guys, you know, can't get in and you know, see too hype and all the other guys. I think that pretty much covers everything with the event. Now, the reason why you guys probably clicked on this video is because I did get to play NBA 2K19 early. Obviously, I want to give a huge shout out to, you know, 2K and, you know, Ronnie for setting up the event. The event was actually like, it was amazing. It's one of the best events I've ever been to. Now, two things I want to say right away before I start, you know, talking about the gameplay and like my thoughts about 2K19 is number one, don't expect like this huge change from NBA 2K18 to NBA 2K19. When it comes to sports games, that's something I've realized is there's never any like huge changes from year to year. So when you guys are looking at this gameplay, you know, don't like just expect to see like any drastic changes. And then another thing is I am a my team player. And one thing I've noticed, which is this isn't like every single game, whether it's like NHL, uh, MLB, NBA, Madden. The play now mode seems to play a lot different from Ultimate Team. I will say though, there actually was a lot of stuff I was impressed with. Now, they told me I could say whatever, so I'm not just like, you know, saying these positive things because like I'm getting paid to or anything like that. I'm gonna be completely real with you guys. And you know, as the year goes on, if you guys have a bunch of complaints and I see those in my comment section, you know, I'll let the devs know. Like I'm gonna be real with them too. The first thing was the game just felt really smooth. I don't know if that's because it was offline. I don't know if that was because it was play now, but the game just, you know, felt more smooth and like not as clunky. Uh, when I was playing defense, I didn't feel like my defender was kind of like on ice skates. Some other big things were off ball steals. You guys know me, I'm a Madden player. You know, I control the middle linebacker. I like to use her. It's like, you know, one of the huge things in the game. In past years, pretty much, you know, my whole life from playing 2K is you could time a steal perfectly. Like you could be playing off ball and you see the pass he's trying to make. And when you go to get that steal, it normally just never happens. You, your player normally just throws his hands up it's a terrible animation, 
and you normally never get to steal. When playing 2K19, if you timed it right, almost every single time, you were rewarded. You did end up getting the steal. And I feel like that's really huge. Like that's gonna make a huge difference for a lot of people. Another thing is I'll actually show you guys the clip. I saw it a few times and this was something that I was big on because in 2K18, 17, this was just annoying, especially in my team. A lot of times you would get up against people that even if you scored, as soon as you scored, they were inbounding the ball and they were getting down the court as fast as possible. Now baseline cheese was improved a little bit in 2K18, but I actually uploaded a video like a week ago. You guys saw it, I was doing a wager. Every single time I scored, this guy would inbound the ball. He would run down as fast as possible and he would either get an alley-oop or his center, like my defenders just weren't getting back. So his center was wide open for a dunk. In 2K19, that seems to be a huge improvement. And that's something I'm super excited about. I'll actually put the clip up on screen where LeBron James, he scores. And instead of doing like a celebration, like they did all the time in 2K18, he just immediately started sprinting back. And there's actually other clips as well where your defenders, they actually sprint back. So like I said, you're not gonna see like huge changes. 2K19 isn't gonna be just a completely new and different game, but there is gonna be changes like that that will make your, you know, for me, that made my playing experience just a heck of a lot better. And then of course, there was the blow by animation. In 2K18, it was just OP. It was completely annoying to play against. It seems a lot better, I will say. So if that's like something that's not in 2K19, such a huge difference for the game and it's just gonna make it so much better. That was pretty much like the main topics I wanted to talk about. One other thing I noticed in the menu was you could assign plays to certain players. I don't think I've seen that before in previous 2K games, at least the way it was looking. Um, but it looks like you can actually like customize what buttons you want to make certain plays and you can specifically do it for certain players Let's say you got a player like Kevin Durant and you got a play where you want to run him off like a double screen So he gets wide open for a three You simply could go to Kevin Durant go to the assigned plays and then you could actually change what button it was So you could easily call that play definitely seemed pretty interesting. We'll see if that's even in my team We'll see you know how that actually works but uh, it seemed pretty cool, but we'll see. I don't know too much about it, so I don't wanna say too much. That pretty much was it for 2K19. I'm extremely excited for the game, I will say. I know in 2K18, I kind of got away from 2K and wasn't posting it as much. I will tell you guys, this year, the series I plan on doing, it's gonna take a lot of work, but if it actually works out the way I intend it to, I, I personally think it's gonna be the best series I've ever posted on any of my channels. To give you guys a hint on like what I kinda wanna do with this series, I don't wanna give it away, but for all of you guys that are asking me to incorporate IRL challenges into my 2K videos, or just want me to bring back IRL basketball videos, period. You guys are gonna like this series a lot, let me tell you. Pretty much covers everything. Oh, I did get mad at 19. Thank gosh I got it early because I've just been like sitting in here the last couple of weeks and I really, I, I don't know what to do because once you play the new game early, like it's so hard to go back and play the old games. I'm just excited. The series I'm working on, I think you guys are gonna absolutely love it. Like my body's ready, my mind's ready, I'm motivated. I don't know if you guys can see it right back there, right there, I actually have like a little whiteboard it's got like an upload streak counter on there. So as of right now, it's currently zero. After this video, it'll be up to one. So we're making progress. I actually went back and counted. My previous upload streak record was 25 days in a row. Believe it or not. Old TD, back when he started YouTube, he was uploading all the videos. New TD, I, I really don't know what he does. I want to beat that upload streak. I don't know if it'll be this month in August because I am traveling a lot, but maybe in September, October. I don't know what month it's gonna be, but we're gonna beat that upload streak. Hold me to it. Yeah, I think that pretty much does cover everything. I just wanna you know, take a few seconds. I wanna thank you guys for all the support over the last year. It was a crazy year for me. Definitely uh, a lot went on outside of YouTube, but uh, regardless, if I'm uploading you know, five, six times a week, or if there's times where I went two weeks without an upload, you know, you guys have always shown me so much support and I really do appreciate that. Make sure you guys are following me on Twitter, on Instagram. I'm definitely gonna start using those a lot more. Twitter is probably the best way to interact with me. I do reply to a lot of tweets. You know, randomly I'll be, you know, sitting in bed and you know, if you guys tweet at me, there's actually a chance, pretty good chance that 
I will see it and be able to reply to you guys. Also, I better see you guys at the event, all right? The event's gonna be amazing. Again, link in the description. Make sure you guys get tickets today. I don't want any of you guys to miss it because it sells out. Hopefully you guys do have a great rest of your day. I'll see you tomorrow with some Madden 19. And until then, I will see you later. Peace out.